Hello mama, welcome back to your mat. My name is Kim and for today's practice we're going to focus all on some poses and some different stretches that can help alleviate your sciatica pain. So there may be a lot of different reasons why you may be experiencing this. Maybe you have an old injury and you're just ready to get back into some gentle stretching or you may be pregnant. A lot of pregnant mamas deal with sciatica pain throughout their pregnancy. Their, your hip alignment and your pelvis and spine alignment may be out of whack because you know baby's getting bigger and pulling that alignment out of whack. So you may be experiencing that through pregnancy or you may even have what's called piriformis syndrome. So your piriformis muscle is, is this little muscle right behind your glutes. And if it's super tight, it can actually compress your sciatic nerve and cause some pain and you know that tingling and, and all that, um, all those issues that you may be experiencing. So we're gonna go through a couple poses today, a couple stretches to hopefully alleviate any of this pain you're experiencing. But if you come into something and it is just really not feeling good or it's it's you know making your pain even worse, then I want you to skip over that. Maybe even check with your doctor, okay? So it may just not be the, the exercise for you. Okay, I wanna keep you nice and safe. So with that being said, no props today, anything like that. We're just gonna start in a tabletop pose. So come onto hands and knees. So hands right under shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Bring a little awareness to your core. So gently draw the low belly in. Gaze is slightly forward. Keep a soft bend in your elbows. And we're gonna start with some cat cows. So this is some really nice movement, warming up the spine, getting some anterior and posterior tilt of our pelvis. So as you inhale, drop your belly, curl your tailbone, lift your chin as you broaden across the collarbone. And as you exhale, tuck the chin, round through your spine, tuck your tailbone and really press your hands down into the mat. So just continue to move just like that. Inhale to lift and arch. And then exhale, tuck, round, and really press your hands down into the earth. So move really slow here. A lot of control. You can even close your eyes and allow your breath to guide the movement. Okay, keep going. Let's do five more rounds here. Beautiful. After your last round, go ahead and just take a seat on your bum. And let's come into a seated figure four. So this is great if you are pregnant and you have your belly in the way, you have baby in the way. Because you can also do this lying on your back, but if you're pretty far in your pregnancy, it may not be very comfortable to lie on your back for very long. So we'll do a seated. So bring your hands behind you, palms down to the earth, fingertips facing back. Slowly lean back onto the sit bones and cross your right ankle on top of the left thigh. So you may need to slide this left foot up some, maybe slide it up or down. It just depends on, on how it works for your body. But cross that right ankle on top of the left thigh, flex your right toes back and just see how this feels. So this is stretching that little muscle, that piriformis muscle. Really puff up the chest here. And if you need more, if you want to increase sensation here, you can slide your left heel closer to your bum. 
or opposite. If you want to decrease sensation, you need a little less, just slide it away. So again, find your sweet spot. Really lift through the chest. Soften the shoulders down away from your ears. Keep flexing the right foot back. So this helps to stabilize your right knee. And we'll take five slow breaths. Maybe close your eyes so you can really focus on slow and steady breath. And last deep inhale. Okay, just unwind the legs. Give your wrist just a little break. So shake them out or roll them out, whatever you need to do, because it's a lot of pressure on your wrists. And I didn't mention before, but you can always do this in a chair. You can always just do it seated in a chair or maybe on your couch, you know, if you're watching TV and you just wanna get a nice little stretch in. Okay, once the wrists feel good, come back, fingertips back. This time cross the left ankle on top of that right thigh, that right knee. Flex your left toes back. Find your sweet spot. This side may feel totally different. So usually we have a one-sided area that, that's a little more painful, a little more aggravated. So again, check in if you're feeling any pain. You may want to skip this, okay? You may want to check with your doctor, okay? Never push through it. So really, really check in with yourself. Keep pressing that chest up. So puff up the chest. Maybe close your eyes. We've got five deep breaths here. Okay, on your last exhale, go ahead and unwind the legs now. If you want, you can shake out the wrist again, roll them out, whatever you need to do. And then let's come on to all fours. So once you arrive here, inhale to kick the right leg back. And then as you exhale, you're gonna slide this right knee behind the right wrist. So pull that right shin up, slide your left leg back. We're coming into half pigeon. So make sure this right knee is opening out, tracking out to the right side of your mat. So we're really focusing on that piriformis muscle. And then really set yourself up here, okay? So you wanna peek back, make sure that your toes and your ankle is in line with one another. You can even gaze behind the right shoulder to encourage your left hip to move forward. So we square the hips off to the front of your mat. All right, once you feel good here, slowly come to your elbows. You can stack your wrists on top of your hands or stack your wrists so you can let your forehead rest on top of your hands. And do your best to really relax down here. And another option, if this is not working for you, you can always come onto your back and do a figure four like we just did, the seated figure four, but just on your back. So this is a different option too. Or if you are pregnant and baby is big in the way, you can always just come onto the fingertips instead of folding forward. Or maybe you slide a pillow under here. So again, find what works for your body. Check in if there's any pain, you may need to skip this one. Pigeon can be pretty intense, so try to stick with it. Try to relax as best as you can. Take whatever version, whatever variation suits you best.
And let's take one final inhale and one final exhale. If you fold it down into your pigeon, go ahead and meet back onto your palms. If you're on your back, just come back to tabletop. And then start to sway the hips from side to side. Just give your hips and your pelvis and spine a little release before we switch sides. So come back, neutral tabletop. Kick that left leg back on your inhale. On the exhale, pull the left knee behind the left wrist. You'll just slide that leg up. Pull that shin through about 45 degree angle as you slide the right leg back. So again, really take your time here to set up. Okay, we're gonna traction this left knee out towards the left side of your mat. So we're really working into that piriformis muscle. Make sure to square off the hips. You can peek behind this left shoulder. And while you're back there, make sure your toes and your ankles in line with one another. And then if you need, you can stay up right here. And if you're pregnant and, and baby is in the way, you can always slide a blanket or a pillow right here, just to give your, your belly a little extra cushion, come to the forearms, or you can come all the way down, let your forehead rest, or you can take that option of rolling onto your back and doing a recline figure four. But once you arrive in your shape, settle in, do your best to soften, release, and let's take five slow breaths. If you fold it forward, slowly press onto the palms. Come back to tabletop, whichever version you're in. Bring your big toes to touch. Spread your knees apart. Sit your hips back. Let's come into a child's pose. Let the forehead rest as you reach your fingertips out long. Allowing the hips to open, the low back to soften and round. And take one final deep inhale and full exhale. Slowly press up onto all fours one last time. Kick that right leg back. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, curl in, step in between the palms and walk your hands up this, this right leg. So you can interlace the fingers behind that right thigh. Gently press your hips forward here. You may want to tuck these left toes under. So we're stretching out our hip flexors. We have really tight hip flexors that can pull our pelvis out of alignment and our low back out of alignment and aggravate your sciatic nerve even more. So gently press the hips forward. Check back in with your breath. Nice and easy, smooth rhythm. Hey, drop the right, or drop both hands down. Come back tabletop pose and we'll just switch legs. So kick the left leg back on your inhale. Exhale, curl it in. 
Step in between the palms. Walk your hands up. Interlace your fingers around the left thigh. Gently press the hips forward. If you want a little more support here, here you can tuck the right toes under. Soften the shoulders, lengthen up through the spine. Smooth and steady breath. Slowly drop their hands down, come back tabletop pose. And then we'll end with a wall stretch. So come to any place that you have a little available wall space. So I'm gonna come right here. You can place the hands here. Step your feet back. So plant the hands. Push your hips back some. Keep a soft bend in your knees so you lengthen out through the spine. So downward facing dog on the wall. And you can even start to sway your hips from side to side. So this is a really great pose if you are pregnant to get a little release into the low back, stretch out the hips. And even if you're not, it's still good. <laughs> Let's take a couple more rounds of breath here. Sway out the hips. Keep lengthening out through your spine. And then step the feet up. Come back onto your mat, slow and steady. And then sit up really tall. Find any comfortable seat here that feels good. Just rest your hands on your knees. And we'll end our class today with just a couple rounds of breath. Allowing the mind to focus, observe your breath as you soften your body. Maybe repeating the mantra, I am healing silently or out loud, planting this seed in your subconscious mind, I am healing. And then bring the hands together right in front of your heart, bow your head. Let's take one final breath here together to seal in our practice. So deep inhale, open mouth and just let it go. And flutter the eyes open if your eyes were closed. Well, Mama, thank you for joining me here today. I hope, I hope that some of these stretches and poses can help alleviate some of your pain and issues that you have with your sciatic nerve. Again, always check in with your doctor. If one of these poses did not feel good and if it was painful, please, please, please skip and try something different. Come back to these as often as you need or just take bits and pieces what worked for you and do them as you need, right? As you're watching TV or you're playing with your kids, come onto the floor and stretch it out, okay? Remember to subscribe to the channel for more free yoga just for mamas. Have a wonderful rest of your day.